because my name is Angel and that actually rhymes. Well, today I'm here to show you how to make a cover song. Now, too many people want to play the piano and that's awesome because it's absolutely the best instrument out there. Why do I say that? Because I'm a piano player, of course. And apparently I can only play the A minor chord, but that's for another episode of this YouTube channel. Okay, so when you want to play a cover song, what strategy, what do you usually do? Here's what I do, and believe me, I did over 100 covers last year in 2015 on bandhub.com. You can actually go to bandhub.com slash angels and you're gonna see that it's the truth. I did over 100 covers last year. So I actually found a mechanism, a thing, a way to come up with the best cover version of any song. So here's my strategy. Let's say I want to play Let It Be by The Beatles. I can already see that the light is actually acting up. I'm sorry about that. I'm not a filmographer of anything or anything. I just play the piano and that's what I do. So let's say you want to play Let It Be. And first thing you do is go to Google. Let It Be chords. Uh, not a good idea. Why? Because way too many people access the internet and fill it in with bad information. There's, there is such a saturation of information on the internet that many of it is just wrong. So the first thing I always do when I want to come up with a cover is um, I either listen to the original recording if I have it or I go to YouTube to the official channel of the band click play and listen to the melody. Okay, so for Let It Be, okay, it's kind of popular knowledge that it's in C major, right? Right, that's the first chord. So the first thing you have to do is click play on the official record or, or either your record or the official YouTube channel for that song, listen and try to match what you hear with what you can play, right? So you know the first chord, the initial chord. After you do that, you have two options. Either you have a great ear and you can pull off all the chords by yourself, or B, you're a bit unsure here and there which is the right chord, what should I do? And now it's a good time to go to Google and find the right chords for the song. So go to Google, you look up Let It Be Chords and start opening up the versions that start in C major. I'm sure you're gonna find a version starting in G major. I don't know why, but people think some songs start in different keys and Whatever, that's their issue. You don't have to try to play always in the same key. That's actually a huge mistake. You have to get familiarized with all the keys. If you're always transposing all the songs to C major, the, the only chords you're gonna be able to play are C major, F major, G major, C major, maybe F minor, G minor, because the, the structure of so many pop and rock songs is first, like the first chord, C, the fourth of that tonic, which would be F or Fa, and the fifth, which is G or Sol. So the best thing you can do is switch keys. Go to different keys depending on the song. Follow the original key and you're gonna learn so many new chords, so many new patterns in your hands. Okay, so that was trick number two. First, remember, click play on the original recording. Click num trick number two, go to Google and find the tab for that particular key. And then, this is my last tip so we don't make a video super long. The Easiest way I find to play any cover song is to play an octave with the left hand. Of course, you're gonna be using your finger number one. Thumbs are always one, two, three, four, five, okay? This looks like the shadow, actually, pretty cool. So, always use number one and the pinky number five to play an octave. that out. You're going to 
really stressing that octave. And then on the right hand, it might take a little while, but you gotta find a way to play the chord as a supporting platform for the melody, okay? You gotta be able to play the melody with either the little finger, the pinky, finger number five, four or three, while you support that harmony with other two notes belonging to the chord, okay? So, in this case it will be. So we gotta find out a way to stress that melody with the chords and you don't need to be too literal, okay? Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce a little weird because I'm from Argentina. So you gotta do this. You can omit a couple of sounds and that's perfectly fine. It's better than saying absolutely everything. It's a piano, it's not a vocal, okay? arrangements like so the job of the right hand is actually the toughest one as you can see the left hand is barely doing anything just the octave but that's enough if you have an orchestra, you have the cellos um, sustaining the melody. And that's what the left hand is doing. But the right hand is the one who's singing, is the one who's expressing everything. Of course, the left hand also expresses. You're not gonna be like... It's, it's supporting and it's also harmonizing and it's being very soft and subliminal in a way, you know? But it doesn't have to be like boom. It's a support. Remember it as a bass, okay? See how I'm uh, doing. And I don't need to be putting that support of the chords all the time, just in some notes. Let's do just the right hand for one last moment. Mm. easier for me to do it with both hands because this hand tells me which chord I have to play and then the right hand knows where to go. I'm sorry, that's the way it is with me. Okay, um, before I say goodbye, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab the phone so it's all gonna be a little bit shaky here and there and you're gonna see a bunch of cables but I guess that's fine because it's for you to learn how to do it so hand take okay so now you can see see it's so much easier with both hands let's do it once more Okay, so that's the idea. Let's go back here. And we're back. Okay, let's put this back there. I'm sorry, but I hate editing. So unless someone offers um, to edit all my videos, this is the way my videos are gonna be because I hate editing. I just have no patience for it. Okay, so I gave you my three tricks for coming up with a cover song first. Click play, listen to the right key, figure out the right key. Then go to any of those popular websites which offer free chords. You don't need to pay absolutely anything. Everything for chords is free, so you don't need to pay anything. And third, um, play the octaves with the left hand, play the melody, not absolutely every note of the melody with the right hand, and play a couple of notes of the supporting chords of the song with the right hand, okay? I'm thinking that for the next video I might be able to have 
double cameras and one camera up here so you can see constantly both of my hands and I think that's what I'm gonna be doing in my piano lesson so it's actually useful alrighty guys uh, thank you so much for watching my name is angels you can find me on Facebook uh, you can find me there looking up facebook.com slash angels love keys you can find me on YouTube doing youtube.com slash angels love music because apparently I love keys I love music so I use too many different words here and there you can find me every Tuesday and Saturday on Periscope my handle there that's what it's called is angels love keys or you can also search angels piano and you're gonna find me on Periscope I also have an Instagram account Again, it's angels love keys, not like keys, but keys and keyboard. And I think, oh, you can also go to Angels Piano. Angels Piano, that's my website. Thanks to a good friend who came up with it, so that's awesome. And on angelspiano.com, you're gonna find absolutely all my social media accounts. And you can also register to the website and just, uh, you receive just one email when the website is up and running. And I'm not gonna be spamming you. That's a promise, but I might be lying. I might end up spamming you. No, I don't think so. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. I hope this video was useful.